my name is Megan. I'm the dietitian at KBC. Just wanted to show you guys a really easy recipe for granola. So, um, the first thing you need to do is you need to make the syrup. And the first thing you need is a fourth of a cup plus two tablespoons of brown sugar. Then you also need that same amount, a fourth of a cup plus two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then you're also going to need a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. And then a three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay? And if you have a microwave, you can do this in the microwave. Uh, I'm gonna do it on the stove. Okay, so for the dry ingredients, you need three cups of oats. And you're gonna wanna use the old fashioned oats, not the quick cooking oats. And then the next thing you need um, is two cups of nuts. So today I'm using cashews and almonds, but you could use pecans, you could use walnuts, basically any nuts that you have laying around. Also, you need three-fourths of a cup of shredded coconut. Um, and if you're not a coconut fan, you could definitely make that out. So I'm just gonna kind of mix that together. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just add all that together. And then you're gonna mix it so it's all coated nice and evenly. It might take a minute. Meanwhile, you want to make sure that your oven's preheated at 250 degrees. Once everything's nice and coated, you're going to take your sheet tray and you can use parchment paper or you can grease it with just like a regular um, non-stick spray. So you're going to want to make sure it's all nice and even on your pan. And then you're going to pop it in. I probably put it in for about 40 minutes and then stir um, halfway through. Okay, so now it's been about another 35 minutes. It's nice and golden brown and crispy, and the last part of the recipe says you can add about a cup of raisins. If you don't like raisins, you could use craisins, or you could even leave it out. But that's basically it, and it will store for about two weeks in an airtight container on the counter. Enjoy.